chance this weekend to celebrate a park that's a century old and the work being done to improve it. Our Alessandra Young shares what residents hope to see. Duncan Park is a place where everyone knows each other. I just love this neighborhood. There's a lot of really cool people who live here. Everybody gets out and exercises. It's been around for a century and this weekend it's going to be celebrated. So we just want to showcase the rich history of the park and celebrate what's coming next. There are some upgrades the city of Spartanburg is making. They've allocated almost a million dollars to make it happen. Some of the work has already begun, like the paths being paved. And another thing the city is doing is getting rid of all the invasive species of plants you see all around. We're looking forward to this kind of cleaning out a little bit um, because, like I said, it's, it's just such a pretty place. We notice there's a lot of weeds, so it's going to have to be kept up, too. Hopefully, a lot of those plants will be removed, and I think the park will be even prettier. Just this week, um, uh, almost uh, 2,300 feet of uh, trails was asphalted. Whether it's walking, biking, or playing with your dog, many people love the park. We think it's awesome. I mean, I, I, I love to bike around here, go on the trail. I walk every single day around this park is one of my favorite things to do. With old paths being fixed and new ones being created, the park lovers are excited. I think having a trail that allows you to go all the way around the lake without having to be on a road is an important thing. I think that'll be great for people who want to come here and use Duncan Park and the facilities. And so I think that's a, a definite improvement. Up that way, there was um, part of the path was crumbling just because it was so, so old. I will be able to use the new part of the trail and then the, I can use the old parts. All of the work will be done in phases. The celebration for Duncan Park will be on Sunday, October 29th from 2 to 6. Some of the events here will be kickball, a family bike ride, a historic tour and there will be live music. For more, head on over to our website at WSPA.com. In Spartanburg, Alessandra Young, 7 News. The city says the money is coming from that fund tied to President Biden's American Rescue Act.